necessarily you personally, but you the environment, you the legal system, you the educational system. Every child that we change, we give an opportunity for success has an opportunity to give back to us. And uh, let me get this off my wall in my office. I want to read it to you. Okay. Love and take care of children. So Brian Andreas, and I'm not even sure if that's how you pronounce his name, does storybook, I think it's story people. But on my wall, I have this saying, I hope it will be said we taught them to stand tall and proud, even in the face of history. And the future was made whole for us all, one child at a time. And that's my message. Singer and peace activist Mitra Rabar. What is your bottom line message that you would like to deliver to humanity? My bottom line message is live your truth for that's where God is. Peace activist Keisha Thomas. Wow, that's a deep question and it can have so many different layers. But I think the bottom line message to, to humanity would be this. Don't jump to violence because it's the easiest way because it's your first nature because everything that comes out of violence is usually about a hurt feeling right you have a hurt feeling about something so you react in a violent way sometimes when you have these hurt feelings or groups will have hurt feelings you just step back get out of your feelings and figure out what plan or what call to action you want to have or what resolution and when you start to focus on what resolution you want to have and work backwards, and violence is not one of the tools that you can use, you'll find in the long term you'll be more successful. So leave violence out of the equation. Author Craig Lewis. My bottom line message that I'd like to deliver, deliver to humanity is that when we work hard at helping ourselves, when we are dedicated to taking steps to improve our lives, to learn better ways to cope with the things we face in life that are troubling, when we develop coping skills that are helpful and effective for ourselves so that we can handle the situations we face in a more um, effective way so we have a better result. When we work on this, when we invest ourselves, when we try hard, I believe without any question that this process, these steps, will result in improvements to our lives so we can live happier, healthier, more satisfying lives. Absolutely. Professor Deborah Bowman. Never give up. Never give up. Because when, you know, uh, you mentioned this prior to our talk, and I thought about humility and never give up, but we've covered humility. (laughs) So, so I want to give that message because we talked a little bit about despair earlier and stuckness, and those are all forms of giving up. And um, I've been lucky because I've worked with people at the end of life. Um, I've worked with people with serious trauma, and um, what I find is hopelessness can be a big place to get stuck. Um, So never giving up is about continuing to crack open that inspirational book of quotes, Um, to have that conversation with someone you love or someone you're having difficulty with, Um, to understand after a serious loss of um, someone outside of us, or a physical loss within ourselves, uh, that all of it can be an opening to greater love and to great, greater insight and clarity of mind and heart. Because um, I've seen it happen at the end of life. I've seen it happen, um, and it's so beautiful. And it's so beautiful, like even to share these words with you and to share your, to hear your insights. You know, it gives me more hope too. And um, hope is not an empty thing. 
it's a trust and a faith in life. And um, let's see, grace was something I talked about. Um, with I mentioned my talk about falling into grace. And we talked about the grace of presence itself. That, the, you know, grace isn't something that comes from outside and we're gifted by. Grace is there all the time. We just have to open our hearts and our minds and our eyes and our ears, and there it is. Um, with, with, with presence, that is grace. Because presence allows us to see and feel and um, uh, open up because it's there all the time. Um, and people get jaded. People get hopeless. People get, you know, we all do at times. And um, never giving up. It's funny when, I, I, when you asked me about my life earlier and I thought, what were my dreams? Were? There were dreams to, to be a speaker, to be a writer, to have a partner. I didn't find my life partner until I was 51, you know, but I gave up. <laughs> well, that's for sticking to it, huh? And that is it. I join all of my guests in wishing you a very blessed 2015. And my personal resolution that I hope you take on is unconditional love. This is Slade Suter. Until next time and next year, be authentic, be true, and be free. Authenticity Radio.